I'm still wearing it. I'm set with Big Weekend Popcorn. <coughs> Guys, don't buy popcorn from Big Weekend. I tell you, seriously, don't buy. Mmm, this is how my morning usually is. Staring into blank space with my cup of coffee, wondering what is my next content? When will I get 10,000 subscribers? And then, I saw that. This. What is this you might ask? Garrett's popcorn. What is left of it lah, left this much only. If you guys know Garrett, that fancy, expensive popcorn. And then I wonder ah, popcorn is actually something not really that expensive, but how do they sell something so low cost, but at such an expensive price? You know my dad bought a large one, which usually fill up about here. This is the price for a large one, caramel popcorn. How about today, we make our own homemade Garrett's popcorn and to see how much does it actually cost for us to fill up this much of popcorn which costs the same as Garrett's large popcorn and before that what's up peeps welcome back to my channel and let's go popcorn mushroom this is also popcorn mushroom. I think that's all they have. The one kg one though, oh my god, it's so big. Don't need so big lah. I think that the small one will do. And this is the caramel popcorn recipe that I randomly got from the internet. You guys can pause the video if you guys want to check out. And let's start. Now, how usually people pop their popcorn, pop their popcorn, cook their popcorn is they use the big pot because everyone knows that popcorn, when you cook, it expands, it pops, it becomes big and it takes up a lot of space. But today, I'm gonna do something a little different. Today, I'm gonna be using this frying pan from New York, 100% made in Korea. Advanced marble coating, non-stick, absolutely lightweight, easy to handle. You see? Mm -hmm. Let's go! I don't have a lid for this. This will do. A few moments later. I want to do a little complaint. You see, uh, the one I bought here, right? If you guys can see, it specifically says mushroom popcorn. Now, is this in any way, shape or form a mushroom popcorn shape or size? Huh? Huh? Eh? So, um, back with Yen, if you guys are watching, can you please explain why do you put mushroom popcorn whereas when I got it, it is not? Mm? If you can notice right, this pan, it doesn't have that It's called the rivet, rivet, you know, the bumpy bumpy thing that you usually see on your other pans right This one don't have, so I can just smoothly stir all around without no interruptions And also because it's lightweight, I can do this Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Now, a little tip for you guys if you guys are doing popcorn, right? Especially for me, using this flat surface frying pan, right? You guys should stir like this. You know, make it even so that the underneath there is not burnt because you know, flat surface, the fire distributes very fast, the heat distributes very fast. And because this one doesn't have a lid, so I have to do this. But because this is lightweight, mm -hmm, it is easy to do. See? Effortless. Okay, about done. Oh -ho! Check it out! So because this is non-stick, wiping it off is as simple as that. See, you can just collect all the crumbs at the bottom and throw this away. Now moving on to the sauce. I 
I think right, I need to transfer the pan into another stove. As you guys can see, the fire this side is lower than this side. It's not balanced. Something is wrong with this stove. So let's move it here. Oh yeah, coming out nicely. And thanks again to the no rivet design. Can you guys see? I can stir all around with no interruptions. And it is also absolutely non-stick. You guys can see. I can push away. It doesn't stick. Ah time for the milk. Butter's already in. A teaspoon. A teaspoon. A teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, peeps, check it out. The sauce seems done, right? But can you guys see? I want to show you guys that it has this lump. One bg bg bg. Can you guys see? I don't understand why. I'm suspecting it's the milk. But the milk I checked is not expired. But yeah lah, never mind lah. I'm still gonna use the sauce lah. I'm not gonna throw it away. Mhm. Mm sauce ready. Now I have to be honest ah, from the looks of this ah, it doesn't look that appetizing but It is soggy What I did wrong, I don't understand I followed the recipe So basically, once you're done with the popcorn, you pour the sauce in and you stir, that's it right? But right, the sauce is hot So when the sauce is hot, it kind of breaks down the popcorn, it melts the popcorn so how ah, but if you don't pour it when the sauce is hot it's gonna solidify, kind of mm. you know what, I'm just gonna let this rest maybe after this popcorn rest, it's gonna be a little bit better mm. tomorrow okay peeps, a little confession so yesterday's batch of popcorn um, sudah buang <laughs> because it smells very bad for some reason. I open the lid, uh, smells like oh, and also tastes very soggy. I don't know why. Definitely, it's not my fault. Because today I made fresh batch and it tastes absolutely amazing. Hmm. Mm. So yeah. By the way, uh, I made this much of popcorn. Uh. Considering that batch, uh, is also a good one. Uh. It's going to be three tapoes worth. Uh. Comparing to this, uh, so this is how much Garrett's worth, but it is only this much. Hmm? And how much of three Tupperware's worth? You know, imagine there's one more Tupperware here, right? Three Tupperware's worth, how much this is cost? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I would highly recommend you guys to make own popcorn. It is absolutely not that hard, even for myself. <coughs> Using New Year 100% made in Korea frying pan that they are kind enough to let me play with. Mm -hmm. If you guys are interested, I'm gonna put the links down below. And thanks you guys so much for watching. And thanks again to New Year for sending me this. And that's all for now. Thanks you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao. So good. So easy to make also. This is. You guys can see it's a bit darker. This one, I put a little bit of sugar and butter, so it's like caramelized. This one is plain. Plain. The sound is different. Hmm?